Hey everybody, this is Smith. Tonight has turned into a very interesting night. I got a new eyeliner, so I wanted to try that out, which meant, well, I needed to put makeup on. So I did, and as I was upstairs, we were dog watching Molly. I'll see if I can get a picture of her, but she's in timeout right now because she was not a good dog. She was upstairs and my husband's sleeping because it's 2.30 uh, in the morning, which is when normal people sleep. Not me. I, you know, try out new makeup at 2.30 in the morning. She's afraid I was going to go to bed and then she wouldn't be able to come in bed with us. So she didn't want to just lay on the couch downstairs because I was upstairs for too long. So she was like wandering around waiting for me to be done in the bathroom. So then I came downstairs and she looked like she wanted to go outside. Now she went running to the backyard and it's pitch black out and there's no lights in our backyard. But not like chasing after anything, just like she was going to go to the bathroom. And I'm out there with no coat because, well, I couldn't get one off the hanger. Long story short. So then She's like taken forever. Now, normally, this is a dog who, if a f if if a whiff of air goes by her, she gets distracted while she's trying to go to the bathroom, and then she'll like the other day she re like really had to go, and it took her like fifteen minutes to find the perfect spot to go. I mean, and doing the little circle thing if you've ever been around a dog. You have to, like, let her be or she will take even longer because if you distract her, she has to start, like, from square one again. So anyway, so I'm waiting in a pink cup outside in my pajamas and in socks. I'm waiting and waiting and, well, started, well, and it's 2.15 in the morning, so I can't, like, scream her name. I start walking down the back sidewalk to the backyard, and I'm like, Molly, Molly, Molly. Then I could hear her leash jingling. And she's a black dog, so it's kind of hard to see her. And I thought she was in our backyard, but she wasn't. She went next door to our garage in the neighbor's yard. I walked down the driveway then and I could see a pair of eyes shining and I thought it was Molly. It was like in the bushes so I figured she was going to the bathroom. So I waited a few seconds and then all of a sudden I look over and then I see a shadow and it's Molly not where the eyes were or and still are but over off to the side sniffing around well the neighbor has a cat and there's cats in the neighborhood what I must have seen was a cat that was like hiding literally like three feet from a dog and the dumb dog couldn't couldn't smell the cat I, I have no idea I called her and she didn't come so then I grabbed her collar and dragged her up up the driveway and, and then told her to get in the house and then she went, she knew she was in trouble. So then she went to go jump up on the couch and she knew she wasn't getting a treat because I, if she's good, she gets a treat when she comes in the house. Well, she wasn't getting a treat and she knew that, but she jumped up on the couch to lay down and I said, oh no, you're going on your bed you're supposed to be sleeping in, which is just this really thin, icky blanket. But that's supposedly what she sleeps on at their house, her owners. I made her go to her blanket and lay down. Well, I can tell you right now, she's probably on the couch. But, yeah, because I heard her moving around. And there's no way she stayed on that blanket. Because she knows pretty much that once I'm in here, that unless I walk by her, that I, I'm not going to be past her anytime soon. So she sleeps on her on the couch during the day and, and leaves me alone unless she has to go to the bathroom. But she was not good. 
and I, I, that's not a good thing because then I can't trust her when I let her out and to have a dog on a leash while they're trying to go to the bathroom is just a pain in the butt. My butt, not theirs. Well, there's two because they get tangled in the doohickey chain and all that. So it's just a pain. And, um, what I really wanted to tell you about was I wanted cereal. I wanted just cereal. I wanted, actually, I wanted Raisin Bran. And I forgot to put it on the grocery list for last week. My husband picks it up on either Friday or Saturday night or Sunday. So now I'm, like, craving it even more. I was going to make, well, what I did was, is I Googled Bisquick and cream cheese. Because I had cream cheese in my refrigerator. And I was thinking, well, maybe I'd make, like, a a donut -y kind of cream cheese something at midnight. What came up was a recipe for biscuits that instead of using butter, you use cream cheese. So it's two cups of Bisquick, three ounces of cream cheese, and a tiny bit of milk to pull it all together. And then you knead it twice, roll it out, and then use a biscuit cutter and put it on a pan in a 475 degree oven. Bake them till they're just brown. Oh my gosh. They like melt in your mouth. They are so good. But I don't have a biscuit cutter because I, I live in Wisconsin. I know I don't have a biscuit cutter. I took a pizza cutter. <laughs> Which really, a biscuit cutter just, it slices the edges, it's clean, it's a clean slice, which is what you want. So I thought, well, technically a pizza cutter does the same thing as, as, a, as a, or a glass. But the last time I tried to use a glass, it got stuck in there and it was pain in the butt. So I took my little pizza cutter and ran it through and then put it on a cookie sheet. And I don't know if you're, these biscuits turned out, well, they're square. So they're square biscuits. And they rose, I would say, I rolled them out really thin. And they rose double in the oven. And they are like golden brown. And they are, they like literally just like f are flaky. And I'm not going to eat it because then I can't talk. Which might be a good thing. But um, they're just like flaky flaky so good so good and I thought well it makes sense because you get the extra moisture from the cream cheese and instead of the butter and it has fat like butter cream cheese does you could make it savory you could add other stuff to it but it's so flaky I mean I love bread and and these are, this is like, light bulb moment. I will link definitely the recipe because it is like so good. So, so good. I know a lot of people don't like Bisquick. I do because then I can make surprise things in the middle of the night. And that take, well, um, I think from beginning to out of the oven, it took me 15 minutes. You really can't go wrong with baking for 15 minutes to get something this good. Seriously. Seriously. I mean, and I, I like biscuits, but I like them like right out of the oven when they're hot. And these you can eat cold and they still like do that melt in your mouth thing. That was my excitement for Sunday night. I was gonna um, do a whole different video, but between the dog, Molly, being very naughty, very naughty. I need to cut my bang. Very naughty. The best, best biscuits I have ever had, ever, ever. Um, I, I just had to share. I hope everybody is having fun and are ready for the holidays. 
that are coming up. Hanukkah started tonight. Happy Hanukkah to all that celebrate that. And Christmas is on Wednesday. Merry Christmas to those that celebrate that. I just hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful time and is very safe. I hope my story made you smile a little bit. I couldn't believe it. How can a dog be literally three feet from a cat and not know it's there? And then I realized, well, I, I think it's a cat. I, I don't know for sure. That I didn't know what it was. And then there was two sets of eyes. <laughs> and I'm with no coat on. And a tank top. Because I was just going to figure she'd run out, go to the bathroom, and then come back in. But ooh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And have a really wonderful day. Morning, night, wherever you are.